What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. Welcome back to episode 54 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off the best setups. Last week I asked you guys if you wanted me to bring back weekly themes. Majority voted yes, and I saw a lot of people asking about showing off some really great budget PCs and budget setups. So I figured I'll do my best to kind of find the best budget setups out there. If they are a little bit overkill for being budget, it's just my inner nature trying to find some of the best of the best. But I figured we'll kick off this episode with that kind of theme for you guys, see how you like it. And without further ado, we'll start off episode 54. Now I'm loving this simple, clean setup here. Minimal workspace, you got a plant, the NZXT S340 case, this all comes together really nice. Taking a look at everything here, I love how organized the workspace is. And things like having the monitor on an arm and the headphone stand there are also great touches to the setup's flow. His monitor is a BenQ 24 inch 144 hertz monitor. When you hear that, you probably think it's gonna be really expensive, but it's actually just around $300. So for a gaming setup, having that monitor is gonna do wonders. Taking a look at the peripherals on the desk, we have the Corsair Gaming K70 RGB keyboard with the Razer Death Adder wired chroma mouse. And for audio, he has the Sennheiser HD 598 headphones. When you're talking top of the line peripherals here, those are great options. And all three combined, you're looking at around $350 as well. Now we'll turn and take a look at the gaming PC. Inside's an i7-6700K CPU. He has an NZXT X61 liquid cooler on an Asus Maximus 8 Hero motherboard, 16 gigs of RAM, and a gigabyte 970 inside the NZXT S340 case. Prices of 970s are plummeting now due to the newer graphics cards coming out. And when you price this setup as a whole, you're getting a beast gaming battle station. Like I said, the 144 hertz, definitely gonna utilize that well with your components. And I think total here, doing the math, $2,500. While that number might seem insane to some people, when you're talking budget, I'd say that is a great price. You check out that great monitor choice, all his peripherals, and that sick rig. Considering I've showed setups off that are probably around 5K and up, what he's done here for half that price is awesome. And of course, keeping everything clean here and organized makes it look that much better. I just love what he did with this. Hope you like blue LEDs, because this one is just blue. <laughs> but that's okay, because I love this setup here. And everything he has going on makes for a great budget setup. Going the solo option of one monitor with a nice ergonomic arm mount. I think that looks really great. And I love the PC on the left. Now into the gear, he has an LG 27 inch 4K monitor. And going this route over something like a 34 inch ultra wide is saving him literally $500. Not only is he saving money, but he's gaining pixels and having that 4K resolution as opposed to an ultra-wide 3440x1440p. On the desk, he has the Cooler Master Quickfire TKL keyboard with brown switches, a great mechanical keyboard for only $69. His mouse is the Mad Cat's Rat 5. You can find that for around 50 bucks. And his speakers are the Audio Engine A2 Plus. Going the smaller route over the 5-inch version is again gonna save him a ton of money. And under the desk are the Biodynamic DT770 Pro headphones. If you're in the market for a new pair, you can pick these up anywhere from $100 to $150 and they will give you a great sound experience. So already just looking at his options, he went with the most affordable budget route here. Getting a 27 inch 4K monitor as opposed to a ultra wide and the smaller A2 plus speakers over the five inch version, money well spent. Now into that PC off to the left, which looks awesome, fits in with his setup greatly. He has an i7-4790K CPU, 16 gigs of Kingston RAM, and an EVGA 1070 inside the Corsair 380T case. So when you're talking king of budget here, the 1070 is probably the best graphics card that you get performance per dollar. 
with today's prices altogether, you're looking at just around $2,000 for this setup. Not only does everything look really nice, its performance out of this is gonna be great. And I picked this setup for the reasons that I mentioned earlier. Going the more affordable route is always a great idea if you're trying to save some money because you could still get some great performance out of your products. Now I'm really digging this wooden theme setup here. Nice wooden desk, even wooden wallpaper texture. And the fact that it's right by a window and you have a plant on the desk, very earthy, digging it. Now Pruton's rocking two BenQ 27 inch monitors. Now just because he has a double monitors going on doesn't mean it's not budget. These both combined are gonna be just around $500 only. So again, comparing that to ultra wides or you know 4K monitors, we'd be spending at least 500 minimum. Two for that price is pretty damn good. And let's be real, BenQ is like the king of gaming monitors. On the desk, we have the SteelSeries 6G V2 keyboard with the Razer Death Adder Chroma mouse on a SteelSeries extra extra large mouse pad. You can also see the Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers on the back side of the desk. And altogether for those peripherals, very solid options. And I wouldn't consider them really overkill or breaking the bank at all. Now the PC, while not really visible, it's housed underneath the desk. And inside the Fantex M3 Evolve mini case, it has an Intel Xeon E3-1231 processor, eight gigs of HyperX Fury RAM, and an MSI 960 graphics card. Altogether, the PC itself looks really nice, I think. I think you should have it on display. And altogether, it's only gonna cost around $750 max. So why am I liking this? Because I think it is just really natural. It's a really cool looking setup. The RGB lights in the back, whether it be like the blue or the orange here, helps accentuate that nice wooden theme, very warm tones. And I think the money he spent for all of his gear with the PC, the monitors, and the peripherals is definitely money well spent. It is a budget setup, but more importantly, it is a smart setup with all the money going towards the right places here. Is this in the end gonna cost more than some people's? Yes, it's gonna be over $1,000 easily here. But again, the point of a budget is getting the most you can for the money. So hypothetically speaking, we'll say his budget was $2,500. And if that's exactly what he spent for this, I'm sure he is more than happy and satisfied. This one here from Maverick is a really good display of doing what you can with what you have. Nothing too crazy. He has one monitor, a laptop off to the side so we can take his work and stuff with him. And I like the choice of having a little riser there on the desk to elevate his monitor so he could also put things on it, put things under it to save some space. Taking a look at the desk overall, I'm gonna just guess and say it's around 48 inches. So like I said, kind of a cramped workspace here, but he doesn't let that discourage him. And if you take note all the way on the right side, he does have a little PC there. We'll take a look at it, but I like how the tiny form factor really fits in with the desktop space. and doesn't take up much room at all. Now into some of his gear, he's just using a 24 inch Asus monitor, great pixel density, very low response times, which is always good. And I would say this is definitely a budget monitor at the price. For its peripherals, he's using the Logitech K800 wireless keyboard, paired with a Logitech M705 wireless mouse. And what's great about that is both of those peripherals can be bought total for under $100. And you might have saw lying on the desk, he's using a pair of the Audio-Technica M50X headphones in white. And I would agree, if you're gonna splurge on something in a budget setup, I think having great headphones is a solid option. Now back to the PC I pointed out before, inside the tiny Silverstone Mini ITX case, he's got an i7-4790, not a 4790K, so again, saving some money here with a Gigabyte Mini ITX Wi-Fi motherboard, 8 gigs of RAM, and for his graphics card, he's using a GTX 960 from Gigabyte, so nothing too crazy at all here. Very, very solid budget build and it just fits in great with that ITX case on the desk. So as an overview, just a really great budget setup here with not a lot of space. Doing what you can with what you have is always important. None of the gear here is overkill. You got a great budget PC. 
laptop on the left if you want to use that elsewhere and get some work done on that you can as well great monitor so I just really like what you did nothing is overkill you got the most for your money and that's always what matters most next is a setup from Alex Mitchell and we actually have some video from his YouTube channel if you want to check it out his new setup is very simple and I would absolutely consider this budget due to how he's running this and the way he set it up now for this he's using his retina MacBook Pro as his main PC doesn't have a gaming PC or anything else under the desk or anything like that pretty much this laptop is powering everything but in order to extend his screen real estate he has it hooked up to a Dell U3415W ultra wide monitor and I have to say if you're gonna go with a one monitor solution you want to spend some extra money a 34 inch ultra wide is a great idea this one's just around $600 so definitely on the lower end of ultra Ultra wide monitors considering the ballpark price of others out there for a 3440 by 1440p monitor this is a great budget display again getting the most for your money now while you wouldn't really call this a gaming setup it's okay because I don't show off just gaming stuff he does in fact have a PS4 behind the monitor and behind his MacBook Pro that he does use for his gaming so it's good to see that if he wants to you know relax play some games he has that option now for its peripherals on that nice wooden desk, he has a Razer Mamba mouse, which again is not too crazy or anything. He's using an Apple keyboard, which will pair nicely when using it with his MacBook Pro. And again, we have a pair of the Audio-Technica M50X headphones. So if you're asking, okay, why did I include this if he has an ultra-wide display and a rather expensive MacBook Pro? Well, because it's not overdoing it. And if this was his budget, he has a great setup for the money that he put out for this. And I wouldn't call this overkill at all. It's clean, it's simple, it looks really nice. And whether it be for gaming or productivity, pulling off a setup like this for probably under $2,500 is impressive. All right, now we got Jamie's setup in which she likes to stick to a nice white theme wherever he can, and I'm digging the effort. White drawers, white peripherals, a nice white lamp, the nice white H440 case. And if you take note on the PC, there's a little Batman logo 3D printed on there in white. Very subtle and nice, kind of like I have my random Frank P logo when I had it printed on my H440. So that's a nice touch. When talking gear, his monitor is an Asus MX239H. This 23-inch 1080p monitor comes in at under $200, kind of around $175, and it looks great on his desk. As for the peripherals, he's using the Ducky Shine 3 keyboard in white with the Corsair M95 mouse in white on a Corsair MM600 mouse pad. But I don't mind the fact that that's where most of the money in his setup went towards. Are these the best budget options out there? No, there are cheaper alternatives you could probably buy. Having great peripherals here I think is the preferred situation as opposed to two to three monitors. Then for his speakers are the Logitech Z600, which will be a little bit on the pricier side. On Amazon, they're $180, but there are a ton of options used for under $100. So again, if he's using the best resources available, and if you're on a budget, you could find great prices for all his peripherals, probably coming in at around $350 and under. And then off to the side, he has some little accessories on his desk, some figures from Loot Crate, it looks like. Always nice to see some extra things, add some personality. Now into that PC, again, very nice touch with the H440. He has an i7-4700K CPU, 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance Pro RAM, and an EVGA NVIDIA 760. I don't know if he built this recently or a few years ago, but given the prices of hardware now, this is a pretty solid budget build. Then off to the side of his desk, it's a little entertainment setup with a TV, a PS4 and stuff there. So if he wants to watch TV or play some console games, he has a choice. And yes, I understand that altogether to buy and build this setup from scratch, it's probably gonna cost a lot of money, probably the most expensive in this episode. But again, I wouldn't say it's overkill. The main setup is pretty simple. I think overall for like a gaming bedroom, it fits in well with the budget theme. All right guys, that'll do it for episode 54 of Room Tour Project, the budget edition. 
Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button down below if you liked it. And also, always remember, check the description down below because I will have all the products you saw in this episode listed down there for you. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. You're not gonna wanna miss out any tech reviews I got coming up as well as future episodes of Room Tour Project. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.